Also this morning, LA city leaders are hoping stiffer penalties will help deter thieves from stealing catalytic converters. A proposed new ordinance could lead to fines up to $1,000 and as much as six months in jail. KTLA 5's Gene Kang is live in Burbank with more details on this. Good morning, Gene. Hi, good morning, Glenn and Lou. Well, lawmakers as well as city council members are trying to crack down on this nationwide problem happening in Los Angeles and also here in Burbank. Well, we just talked to the owner of this shop. They have about six calls a day of stolen catalytic converters, so they've been extremely busy. But they also say it takes about 30 to 60 seconds for thieves to get away with those converters. They also have these deterrents and shields. Let's take a look. This is the shield on a Prius um, that we put underneath the car and it prevents them from cutting to take the catalytic converter out. So this gets bolted to the bottom of the car um, with one way bolts and stuff so you can't take the bolt out, it goes in there. A regular mechanic can still take the bolt out, but someone laying underneath this car, you know, they take a jack, they jack it up, is not gonna be able to take it. It's gonna be very, very hard and difficult for them. This is Tim Morse with Morse Muffler in Burbank. He says they get at least six, if not up to 10 calls a day for those stolen catalytic converters. They fix everything from Toyota Priuses to trucks and even motorhomes. Getting a new converter costs about two to eight grand to fix. There's also a waiting line with back orders taking up to six months. And adding shields, well, they cost hundreds of dollars. Take a look at this. Over in Los Angeles, the city council just tentatively approved a new ordinance to try and curb the theft of catalytic converters. If it is finally approved, it would require someone to show proof that they actually own that catalytic converter, including valid documents. Take a look at your screen. The council says the number of stolen catalytic converters skyrocketed by nearly 728 percent in the last five years. For example, in 2018, about 970 were reported stolen, and then last year it jumped to 8,000, so that is a massive number. There will be some stiffer penalties and punishments if this becomes law in Los Angeles. Now back out here live, this shop in Burbank, they say they talk to Burbank police pretty often. And there's also a method where they can etch the VIN number as well as other information onto a catalytic converter to prove that it's yours. Well, coming up next in the new hour at 12 o'clock, we're going to hear from council members as well as police. More on new details coming up. Reporting live here in Burbank, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio.